What's up tech, it's Josh here, and this is my S24 Ultra case haul video. It's a mix of various types of cases that you can take a look at, and I'll leave chapter markers down below so that way you can check out an individual case or its company by itself, or you can watch the whole video. At the end of the video, I'll do my top three or five, I'm not sure at this point. If you have any questions about any of these cases, leave a comment below, along with any recommendations that I might have missed out on. All right, let's get into this. So normally I always like to start off with the manufacturer cases just because Samsung. So you might be interested to see what Samsung has to offer. We've got two options this time. This is the silicone case and I went with green just because one, it's a green Samsung S24 Ultra. So I wanted to see how that colorway would look. But when you get it on, you're not gonna even see the phone. So you could really just get any color case that you want just because there is no clue or hindrance just a little bit by the flash of what this thing even looks like underneath the case so let's say you got a color that you didn't like with the s24 ultra you could just cover it up with this kind of case and you're not gonna even know the difference a lot of times i like to try to get the white device and this time i just wanted to get a little splash of color and it's actually pretty interesting i'll go a little bit of a rabbit trail for just a second I'm starting to rock the color lime green for a purpose and that purpose is going to be announced pretty soon so if you're interested in learning about that make sure you hit subscribe it's a special reason so i'm looking forward to sharing and it just kind of worked out i didn't know this at the time when i was going to help support this campaign that lime green was going to be a color and i ended up getting the green s24 ultra so that was pretty cool just kind of worked out great that way the first thing that you're going to notice about this case is that it's very soft on the outside i started using this case first just because i wanted to experience what it was like being from Samsung. Usually the manufacturer cases are the ones that just fit like a glove, precise cutouts, very well put together. And there's no exception to this. I'm really impressed with the quality of this case. The cutouts are very precise. You got full access to your S Pen. The buttons are very nice and clickable, very nice and tactile. There is a little bit of protection here on the edges of the screen. If you want to put it flat face down on a surface, you shouldn't have a problem with that. What I love, probably my favorite thing, my favorite attribute about this case is that you have precise cutouts for the camera cutout. Not every case that you're gonna see along here is gonna have that. When you have precise cutouts like this and you look at something else that doesn't, you kind of like, I really wish that I had precise cutouts on the camera cutouts. Camera modules is probably a better word, right? And this is almost a deal breaker for me is that there's no MagSafe support. I really want to see MagSafe in every kind of device. The amount of accessories that you can get with MagSafe compatibility is just so nice to have. All right, next up is the vegan leather case, and this is also made by Samsung. If you follow my channel for a while, you'll know that I love just different kinds of materials such as leather, wood, anything with texture. I'm not a big fan of plastic or clear backs just because of the griminess that happens and just it just doesn't feel good. So, but this, goodness, it has a nice soft felt material. It feels really good to the touch. And then again, you're gonna have those precise cutouts pretty much everywhere. Depending on the material that you like really just depends on what you wanna go for if you're going with Samsung. One of the things that I noticed right away when I was testing out the buttons on this is that it kind of takes a solid break in moment. You gotta kind of click around just to get them to fit. I think is the best way I can describe it. But once it fits, it's very tactile. As far as like the touch and feel of this case, I mean, it feels like a smooth leather. There's not much graininess to it. You can kind of feel a little bit of texture. So it's pretty, a, it's a pretty smooth case. But what's great about it is such a thin profile. So if you want that leather material that's made by Samsung, precise cutouts everywhere, I mean, you can't really go wrong with that. The other thing you'll notice is that there's still no MagSafe support in here. I really don't see it happening with at least the Samsung side of stuff, but with all the other third-party manufacturers, you're gonna get some of those options. Now this next brand you might be pretty familiar with because they've been on the channel for a while now and it's Pitaka. Pitaka, I wanna say is probably one of my top cases out of this bunch that I've used with the S24 Ultra. It's been the one I've probably used the most. What I love about it is one, it's a sick design. They got mm, like chef's kiss, it looks so good. They've got a few other designs that I just, man, you kind of drool over just a little bit just because it just looks that good. It's got a nice texture to it. It's got that carbon fiber material, really nice. The best thing about these cases is that they're super thin. Like you can't get much thinner than this unless you go with the skin. And what's crazy is that even though as thin as this is, they still have MagSafe support. In particular, this is the Sunset case. And man, you can't go wrong with this thing. It looks so good. When there is MagSafe support, I will do an S Pen test for you. 
This is a MagSafe ring. I've kept it on there. It's been a wonderful accessory to use with the S24 Ultra. The phone is big, so things like this actually helps out with just holding the device. This is the unfortunate part about using a MagSafe accessory with this. An issue where the magnets just don't work right. But when you take it off, not using a MagSafe accessory, it works just fine. I have a lot of scribbles saved in my notes. If you're a minimalist like myself, I usually just wear all black. That's just my go-to with my attire. With some color splashes here and there, like with shoes or washes. Anyways, if you want to go with the straight black, gray kind of feel, this is another color way that you can go for. So this is pretty much the same thing, just all black. You still get rather precise cutouts for most of the cutouts for your cameras. If you've been using a phone for almost any amount of years, OtterBox is a staple in the case community. The Symmetry case, the commuter, on down the line, the series have gotten better over the years. So the Symmetry case is kind of, it's developed over the years. It's got a two layer kind of feel to it. So you're gonna have these rubber edges and then a hard shell on the outside, which I love that because it's a lot easier to get in and out of your pocket versus like what the Defender used to be like when you had all that rubber on the outside of just a pain in the butt to get in and out of your pocket. So if you're looking for a really solid level of protection, this is pretty easy choice to go with. It's got a pretty good lip on the outside, so it's gonna be raised above the screen, enough for impact resistance, but also just if you're gonna put it flat on a surface, you'll have no issues there. I remember back when OtterBox, the buttons were just kind of really stiff and they've really mastered that now. No problems with the buttons tactileness. As far as for the cutouts go, it's pretty precise. You're gonna get full access to all the ports at the bottom. Overall, the branding is pretty minimal, not too much to it, so I like that. And you're gonna get a full one-piece cutout for the whole camera module in the back. Now the sides have a bit of a grip, kind of texture and feel to it, so that does add a point to me because you're able to hold on to it. You don't feel like it's gonna slip out anywhere. And you got a nice grip on the phone. This is the OtterBox Defender case. And this is gonna be one of those, like if you're looking for some beefy protection, this is a great option to go with. If you're the type that likes to rock the belt clip, this is one of those options that you can go with. On the inside, it's very soft. Like it's got a soft material to it, so I like that a lot. With this case, it's multi-layered. So with this, you're gonna to wanna to peel off the edge because you're gonna to have to do a little bit more of an installation process with this, and that's fine. This is not a case that you're gonna to want to take on and off frequently. So on the back, you're gonna notice these arrows and those are little latches or attaching points that you're gonna to have to undo. And usually it comes off pretty rather easy. It's not, well, not easy like it's gonna just fall apart, but not a pain in the butt, put it that way. And then you're gonna take this piece and just put it back on and it snaps in place. I like to start with the bottom piece just because it's got these flaps here. And sometimes if you don't do that, it just kind of gets really difficult to reinstall. And then you just wrap the edges back over into the crevices. You're just gonna have to massage it in place sometimes. Probably out of the batch, out of all these cases here, this is gonna be a solid choice if you're going for something that's really protective. I like the innovation of the cutout that they have here at the bottom for the S Pen because it gives you full access. Now, if you did not have this indention like they have here, there's, it would have been pretty difficult to access. What I do also like about this area here is that you got port covers or dust covers to help just protect that area. Let's say that you're in an environment that just has a lot of dust, water, you know, just all the different elements that could get around this case. You got pretty solid protection against those elements. The button press, it's not bad. I would say like an eight out of 10. It takes a little extra effort just a touch more than some of the other natural feeling ones. The grip is one of the best things about this case. The edge, feels great. If you got a solid grip on this, if you're holding it, it does not feel like you're gonna just, you can, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. It's very grippy, I like it. So with that said though, if you've got small pockets like on your pants or something, you get, might get a bit of resistance with that just because of how big this phone is for one, and then it does have that grippiness to it. I didn't even put it on <laughs> with the belt clip. It's a good belt clip, just take my word for it. The things that I point out with bell clips though, is like you don't have those loud clicky noises. It used to be a bad problem with that. It's pretty stiff. So if it does get knocked on your belt, on your hip or something, it's not gonna just rotate all over the place. And it's pretty solid. Like you gotta really press this thing for it to just pop out. Like I'm trying to pull it out. So 
pretty good there. So I, I'm not gonna go through the process of putting that phone back into this because that is, like I said, a process, but solid belt clip. We've got the Defender XT. This is another variant of the Defender that you can get. So just in case you're curious about what their install video looks like, you can scan that code. Like you don't have like that outer shell like this one has. It's just two pieces versus three pieces. But once you get this on, if you really like the color of your phone, this is a perfect opportunity for you to have something that is very protective, but also allows you to see the color of the phone. It's pretty close to the design as far as like the cutouts go and all your port access to what the regular Defender is like. It's pretty easy to get to the S Pen, dust cover, and then as far as the buttons go, it's pretty similar to what the regular Defender is like. It's a little stiffer, it's not too bad though. Around the entire edge, is like this texture that's gonna help with that grip again. It's one of the best features about the Defender case is that you get a solid grip on these things. If you like this Defender case and you want a bell clip, you can mix and match between the two. What do you like more? Do you like the regular Defender or the XT? The Commuter Series, when I was working long care landscaping, was one of my favorite options to go with because it has the hard shell on the outside, but still got two layers of gray protection to go with. So still no MagSafe, but you know, being that you're a Samsung user, you might not actually use MagSafe. Two layers of protection, you've got the interior layer, which is a rubber material. Then you've got your hard shell on the outside. Now I like to start with the bottom just because it's got those port covers. If you don't do that first, it's kind of difficult to work with. Then you just kind of press it all together and mold it into place. My favorite thing about the Commuter OtterBox case is that you got the hard shell on the outside, you got the rubber material on the inside, and that made it easier to put in and out of your pocket. If it's a big phone, smaller pockets, jeans, you know, just the material can kind of get caught, but this is going to reduce that chance a lot more. But that doesn't sacrifice the grip that you have on the outside. Because there is some ridges on the outside that helps out with that grip. As far as the buttons go, it's not tactile, but it's not difficult. Pretty much the same stiffness as what the Defender is like on those cases. As far as uninstalling, it's way easier. So out of these OtterBox cases, which one would you choose? You got the Symmetry, Commuter, Defender XT, and then the Defender. If I have to choose between them, probably gonna go with the Symmetry or the Commuter. It's really a, a tie between those two. Next up is MagBack, and this is a solid case. I like the style of design, the innovation that they have with this. And I'm gonna show you a feature that's pretty, pretty exciting as far as MagSafe compatibility goes. An item that you'll get with these cases is these magnetic bars, and this is where you can just put it anywhere, and it's gonna be a mounting system almost anywhere that you put it. I am curious though, like where would you install this bar? It's a silicone type material, but it's actually pretty stiff. Like you're gonna get a pretty good level of protection with this. It does have MagSafe compatibility. We'll do some testing in a second. And the other thing I like too, is that the cutouts are better than just one full cutout. And the benefits to this case that I like a lot, and I've used this case on a number of other devices, is that you get a nice lip around the edge of the phone. It feels really good in the hand. The buttons are very tactile. It's one of the best that you can get. The port access, perfect. And this is the part that is pretty exciting. So the S Pen, obviously it's gonna work, you know, MagSafe, all that kind of stuff. But when you put a MagSafe accessory on it, Let's go ahead and erase all this. It works with a MagSafe accessory. So that's huge. If you like using MagSafe, this is the kind of case you're gonna to wanna to get because there's gonna be others that will not support the S Pen with a MagSafe accessory being used. Speaking of MagSafe accessories, they have their own MagSafe accessories. <laughs> Same though, too much. So this one's pretty cool because it's got a loop. So it's pretty cool to be able to use it just as like a ring holder because you know, this phone is big and I like multi-purpose kind of devices and different uses to minimize. You don't have to get a separate ring and a wallet. You can have both in one thing. It's got some pretty good strength to it. Actually, MagBack is one of the best in the business as far as the strength of magnets. Really good stuff. I like this compatibility here a lot. All right, next up, this is Banks and this is a Kevlar thin case. So a couple things that I like about this particular case is that if you like that caseless design, it's pretty close to that, but you get full edge protection. So that's a really big perk to me, being able to have that full coverage, but still really thin at the same time. Also got that MagSafe support. Another detail that I want to point out is that this cutout is like a metal material. So just higher quality materials definitely is something I appreciate. All right, so very thin. Buttons are 
a little stiff. About the same stiffness as like what the OtterBox Defenders are like. It's not terrible though, it's manageable. It may break in over time. Let's do that S-Pen test real quick too. Test it with a accessory. It's a little bit of skip here and there, but it's better than nothing. So that's, that's interesting. So it's got a smooth texture to it. Pretty regular, it's not like a, any kind of grippiness to it or it's not too slippery either, but it definitely has that Kevlar texture on the back. This is the Incipio Crew. It's a protective case. Got a little bit different materials than most other cases offer. So it's got this like interesting texture on the outside. Not really sure what it is, but it's kind of got a rubbery feel to it, but it has a texture. I like texture period, so I'm, I'm happy with that kind of addition. On the inside, it's got a felt material to it to help protect that back. Overall, it's a uh, you know, medium strength as far as flexibility goes. One of the things that you'll notice right away is that it seems like it kind of hugs the edges a little bit more. Like it kind of curves into with the curve of the edge of the S24 Ultra. So that's a little different than what I've seen with other cases. And I like that because it feels like it's really nice and secure. Grippiness, it's got that kind of like that rubber feel to it on the outside. It's not smooth, but it's not textured at all. It kind of curves up on the button area and that kind of helps with just pressing the button a little bit more. It's a pretty innovative design. It's not just like this flat button that goes across, but it's got a little bit to help you just press the button, rock it back and forth. You get a full cutout for the camera module, full access to all your ports at the bottom. It is easy to get to the S Pen. One of the benefits of Incipio is that they cater to all kinds of audiences. So if you want a bunch of different kinds of designs, there's gonna be something for everybody with Incipio. I just like to be able to show a variety of different kinds of cases, not just my own taste. So this has a little bit of a see-through design with a gradient of reds and blues. Not quite sure how this is gonna look like with the green, but if you have a white device, I mean, you can't go wrong with white with this kind of stuff. It doesn't look that bad with this green phone. It has a pretty interesting colorway to it. Now this is gonna have more grip and it's got that clear case design to it. So it does feel really grippy in the hand. It doesn't feel like it's gonna fall on my hand very easy at all. Button press, a little stiff, but overall you're gonna get pretty good protection with this. It's raised above the screen. So you're gonna get that nice edge protection. You got full access to all your ports at the bottom. Overall minimal branding too, so that's good, I like it. This is the Incipio Duo. This is a series that you've seen for quite a number of years at this point. Some of the benefits to this case is that it has like that dual layer protection. You've got a rubber material on the inside and then you have a hard shell on the outside. And flexibility wise, relatively stiff. It's got some weaker points by the buttons, but that's, you know, no knocks on that. What I like about the Duo is that it wraps the case really well. Like it feels like it's part of the phone. The buttons are pretty tactile, so better than the other ones that I've experienced with Incipio. Now being that it does have that hard shell on the outside, it's gonna be a little bit more slipperier than others, but it's gonna go in and out of your pocket without a problem. Even though that these cases don't have MagSafe support, they do offer wireless charging still. So overall, pretty solid design. I like it. I just like how it feels part of the phone. This case is made by Spec, and this is their grip case. Relatively stiff. It's got a definitely hard shell kind of vibe to it, but you see all of these gripping points here, and that's why they get the name the grip, right? Yeah, this is another case that just feels like it becomes part of the phone. I, I like that. I'm a big fan of that kind of stuff. Buttons feel pretty tactile. A little bit of stiffness to it. Not too much, just a touch of stiffness. Overall feels pretty good. All these gripping points are pretty interesting to me. Even on the back, it feels pretty good. Just the way that the texture's kind of mash up with your finger placement. On the corners, you're gonna notice some reinforced edges, so that's pretty cool. A lot of drops happen on the corners, so it's always nice to see some reinforced corner protection. This case, also by spec, and it's the perfect clear one. So if you're a clear case person, pay attention. This is gonna be another one of those that just feels like they wrap around the phone. One of the major benefits of a clear case is that you can see your phone's color. So if you really like that color, this is one that you're gonna to wanna to check out. Another idea that you could do with a clear case is that you could put a photo or image, stickers, you can customize this how you want. Buttons are kind of stiff, probably the stiffest out of the bunch that I've tested so far. Being that it has that clear case design to it, it does have that little bit of grippiness to it. Doesn't feel like it's gonna go flying at your hand or anything like that. But it's also smooth enough that's gonna go in and out of your pocket without a problem. 
right, this is case borne by Armadillo Tech. You know, so you get two tempered glass screen protectors that go with this. And as you can see, you got MagSafe support. So that's always fun. Fun. MagSafe is fun. <laughs> All right, so clear case fans speak up in the comments. I'm particularly not a clear case type person. And I'm not the biggest fan of seeing the MagSafe ring, but some people that doesn't matter. Some people might actually like it. S Pen Test. Let's put an accessory with it. Little bit of skipping. It's weird how it's not really consistent. As far as the MagSafe goes though, it's pretty strong. God, it takes actually some good effort to get it off. It's a pretty nice magnet though. All right, buttons. Overall, pretty nice and tactile. Not too much to complain about there. On the edges there, it's got some ridges to help with that grip. If you want to use a lanyard, you can put that through there as well. Pretty decent cutouts for your ports at the bottom. I like how grippy this is. So like if you do like clear cases, this is a decent option. One, it gives you the MagSafe compatibility. You get a nice grip on the sides. And overall, it's going to be a pretty protective case. This case is made by Caseborn Armadillo Tech. And this one is definitely a bit beefy. This one is the V series. One, you're going to have reinforced corners. Like that's pretty evident. Nice, almost like foam material on the inside, like this honeycomb design. So that's going to add some more padding. It's all one piece. Precise cutouts for the cameras. Let's get this thing installed. I'm actually pretty impressed with this. I mean, I like OtterBox and stuff, but if you're looking for a pretty protective case, this could be what you want to go for. One, the buttons are more tactile. It's got a better tactile press to it. You got reinforced corners. You got a kickstand that you can prop up. Works horizontal and vertical. You can also use it as a gripping point, like a ring. There's port covers. Nice cutout for your S Pen. I like how it's got precise cutouts for the camera modules a lot. Like that's a, that's a big deal as far as design goes. If you're wanting a very protective case, like a beefy tank, I would probably go for this one. And with these ridges on the back, like that helps with different gripping points. So it already has like these ridges, rough kind of spots here to help a grip. But you also got these indentions here that just helps like when you put your finger in different areas, just different gripping points. This is the Thinborn Armored Fiber case. This is actually kind of cool. It comes with two screen protectors. Got some installation kit stuff there. So this one actually stands out quite a bit to me because it's very thin. You got MagSafe support, but you got full edge coverage. So this is very thin. Yeah, the design is great on this. They've got precise cutouts for the camera module, full access to your buttons, your ports. Let's put an accessory on the back. Yep, skips around a little bit. It's got rather minimal branding on it. It's not terrible. I would probably put it on the edge instead. But yeah, this feels like you don't even have a case on it for the most part. It's got that carbon fiber material to it, the texture. I like the fact that it's got the full edge protection. Like that's a big deal to me. I like having that kind of coverage. All right, next up is VRS Design. This is a brand that has been on the channel for a while and they offer so many different choices. So let's go over this one, which is the Glide Pro. So this is one of those design cases that it has a lot of built-in stuff too. So you got this built-in wallet. It's got like a spring action to it. So it's one of those, if you don't wanna have a wallet separated from it and you wanna be able to just carry a few cards with you or a little bit of cash, this could be what you want to look for. It's going to be a rather protective case and they do a really good job with their buttons as well. Ridges on the sides here, so you got good grip. The buttons are nice and tactile. Full cutout P-shape for the camera module. Now, one of the things to pay attention to is like if you're going to use cables to charge or data management, it's got a pretty deep port to it. It's rather wide, so you shouldn't have a problem with fitting any sort of cable inside of it. But it is just a little bit different than what you might have experienced before. And it's got a pretty decent cutout for the S Pen. All right, this is VRS Design, and this is the MagSafe TerraGuard Ultimate. This is for the S24 Ultra. All right, so first thing that you might notice is like, where is the camera cutout? It's got a door or a hatch. So if you're looking for that extra protection, you wanna cover your camera up, you don't want anything to happen to the lenses, there you go. It's got all kinds of gripping points on it. It feels really rugged, like that's probably the best way to... The buttons feel pretty good and tactile. The camera door and hatch 
also is like dual purpose. You can use it as a kickstand, but it's also got MagSafe support. The magnet is pretty strong too. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's impressive. Let's put one on. Yeah, that one skips around. All right, this is VRS Design. This is the Glide Ultimate. All right, so this is another beefy case and it's got all kinds of stuff going on with it. First of all, it's got that Glide wallet style to it. Got the camera hatch. So all kinds of gripping points. This is crazy. So it adds quite a bit of more bulk. So by itself, it's like not for that purpose, but like if you want to attach this to something like a lanyard, like they include here, you could attach this to these round areas there. Then you got a, a clip that you could clip this onto, or if you have a lanyard of some sort, you can hold on to the phone that way. The S24 Ultra is already a big phone, and this definitely adds some bulk to it. But it's very protective, it's very rugged, great gripping points. The buttons feel nice and tactile, some of the best that I've done so far in this video. I really like how Rinke does this. They send a reviewer kit, and it's a box. Nice presentation, you just feel special when you get something like this versus just a mail package. I mean, I like the positivity here too, you're amazing. Honestly, kind of made my day, to be honest with you. Let's see it again. And what's even better about this is that they write a personal letter. That's awesome. Not that I'm going to cry or anything like that, but it just means a lot to me when that kind of stuff happens. So they always provide such a cool kit. Tons of choices to look at. Take a look at them all. See which ones we like. So Rinke makes these camera lens frames and it's just extra protection for your camera modules. And all you do is take off the backing of this. And it's already got it laid out. So it's not like you have to guess on alignment or anything. It's pretty easy. All you gotta do is get it on there, press it down, and then they're on. What's pretty cool about these is that you really don't even, unless you get a different kind of design, you can't even tell that they're there. It just looks like it's part of the phone. They got you pretty well covered. You got Covers for your camera modules, then you got a screen cover too, along with all the case options. So this is the Rinke's camo back. So it's got a rubbery texture to it. Pretty flexible, so it's a TPU type material. The grip is really cool. It's, I like this texture a lot. That feels cool. It also looks really good. I like that a lot. Overall precise cut for the camera modules. It's got a subtle texture on the sides to help with that grip. But on the back here, it's got even more grip. It's a very solid case. Like if you like the this kind of material, man, if they had MagSafe to this, that would be almost the perfect case. This is the Rinke case, it's the Fusion, and it's a matte clear. Let's see if they improve this. They do have, you're gonna wanna peel that off. And then there's another, much better. There's been times in the past where you'd have to like, work way too much for it to come off. I mean, MagSafe aside, if you like clear cases, I love this frost with that mint green to it. Mm, I like that a lot. That looks really good. It's really lightweight, so it doesn't add a lot of weight to the phone. The size has that clear case grippiness to it. The buttons feel good, nice and tactile. It's raised above the screen just a little bit. It's got a little bit of extra reinforcement on the corners and you got great access to all the ports at the bottom. I just really like how that frost mist kind of looks. That's fantastic. This is the case made by Rinke and it's the Onx. Another rubber type material, pretty flexible. It's gonna be a pretty solid case. I love the fact that they got these cutouts for the camera modules like that versus just that p-shape they get win some points with me on that pretty solid case you got texture on the sides for grip it's kind of got a smooth back to it it's like a fake leather feel to it good access to all your ports the buttons feel nice and tactile i'm sitting here taking pictures like crazy <laughs> another case by Rinke, and this is the fusion bold magnetic galaxy s24 ultra case all right so you're going to want to remove the film Nice cutouts for the camera module. It's got a grippy texture on the sides. Good cutouts for the ports at the bottom. The buttons are nice and tactile. Let's do our MagSafe test. Let's put an accessory on the back. Yep, skips around. Really good magnet. It's pretty strong. All right, this is the silicone magnetic case made by Rinke. 
the first thing that you're going to notice about this is how soft it feels. I like how that feels. That's great. The other big thing is that it's got MagSafe compatibility. It's got like this suede material on the inside, so it feels really good. So this has exact cutouts for the camera module, which is awesome. Again, it's very soft, so there's not much of a grip to it, but it's not slippery. Buttons feel great. Let's do our MagSafe test. No problem there. Let's put an accessory on the back. Now that's working great. I'm not seeing any skipping. So that's pretty solid. Okay, great. That's awesome. Passes that test. Not many have passed that test. My constructive criticism on this case is that by the button areas and also by the ports is really flimsy. So I'm concerned about that wearing out over time and then also just letting debris between the phone and the case. So if they were to redevelop this, I would definitely recommend some reinforcement in those areas. This is the Fusion X by Rinke. You're gonna wanna remove this film. The major points about this is that you get reinforced corner protection, and I'm a big fan of that. This actually, one of the few cases that doesn't have any rocking on the table. And I didn't point that out on anything else because I just knew that was gonna happen, but I saw that this was designed to where that's not gonna happen. So it's pretty neat. If you like clear cases, this has that grippy clear kind of stuff to it. It has texture on the sides to add some more grip. The buttons are angled, so that actually helps you with finding it. And also another detail is that the top button has some texture to it to where you can tell that this is up volume and then there's nothing on the down volume. So you can kind of, without looking at the phone or the case, know what's what. This is the Fusion Bolt case made by Renke. This is another one of those cases that just kind of makes it feel like it's part of the phone. I love this matte black and then this green color. It looks really good with it. Got texture on the sides for grip. The buttons feel really good. Nice, simple case. This is the Onyx Magnetic case by Renke. Renke, you did a great job with these cutouts. Like it looks so much better with these precise cutouts for the camera modules than just that Lazy P cut out. All right, so there's some texture on the sides for that grip. And no surprises there that the buttons feel nice and tactile. The back kind of has that fake leather plastic feel. Access to the ports at the bottom are just fine. Let's do our MagSafe test. So let's put that accessory on. And it skips. All right, this is the Onx design, and this is a graffiti custom kind of look. So this is pretty much the same case here, minus the MagSafe, but as far as the design goes, like that back texture is pretty much the same thing. I'm trying to decide if I wanna to go top three or top five. Probably gonna to go top five. In no particular order right now, Pataka Sunset, Magback, Otterbox, got the Thinborn. I'm gonna to go to Caseborn. Let's try to rank these now. Ooh, this is tough. I think I know what my top two are. All right, Caseborn. And this is gonna go completely preference now. Like this is what I would pick if I'd have any other choices kind of stuff. Uh, such a solid case. The Caseborn, it's got a ton of protection on it. My biggest gripe is that it's not gonna have MagSafe. I use MagSafe accessories all the time. My wallet, phone mount, all that kind of stuff. So that kind of gets in the way. But as far as protection goes, full cutouts, solid one, number five. The next one I'm gonna go with is the Otterbox Symmetry. It's a tried and true design, pretty solid protective case, and it doesn't take up a lot of space. It's not very bulky. Next, I'm gonna go with the Thinborn. Can't really go wrong with this one. It's got full edge protection, MagSafe. I like it, very solid. But the next, it's very tough between these two. I love, absolutely love the sunset design. I'm a sucker for a sunset, and that, is where this gets a lot of points, just the design, the look of it. Very thin, MagSafe support. But I think I'm gonna give MagBack number one. And the reason is, is because the MagSafe support, you can use your S Pen with an accessory, a MagSafe accessory, I should say. It's relatively thin and it's got a lot of protection to it. My only gripe with this is like, with this matte material, it kind of gets grimy at times, so you have to clean it a little bit more often than another case, but the MagSafe, the magnetic accessories that you can do with all this kind of stuff, it's got strong magnets. You can actually almost put this on any kind of magnetic surface and it's gonna hold it. 
and I love the precise cutout. There's my top five cases that I would recommend to check out. Let me know in the comments which ones are your top favorites out of this whole bunch, and then out of my top five, which ones do you like the most? Again, links are down below in the video description. I appreciate you using those affiliate links to help support the channel, helps me keep on doing videos like this. And I just love being able to put all this kind of stuff together every year for the S series. If you want more in-depth coverage on any of these cases or another case, let me know and I'll try to make a video about it. Before I close out this video, just a quick shout out to my bud over at Chalker House. I love his stuff. It's a very cool shop. If you're a guy, you definitely want to check it out. If you want to shop for a guy, lots of fun stuff that you can purchase. You can actually get this shirt over at their website. A goal of mine in 2024 is to support some of my local shops and friends in the area. And this is one of the ways I want to try to do that. So check out the website when you get a chance. I almost forgot to mention at the end of these kind of videos, I love to have a keyword to leave in the comments if you watched the entire thing. If you watch this whole video, please leave a comment saying Chalker House. Appreciate you. Thanks.